Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Previously, I talked about Mixkit, which is a website that offers free digital assets that you can use for your video projects. They offer free stock video, stock music, sound effects, and even video templates. In today's video, I will show you how to use one of their Premiere Pro templates so that you can start making your own video projects fast and easy. So let's go to Video Templates and then click on Premiere Pro. They offer a bunch of categories such as openers, transitions, titles, logos, lower thirds, slideshows, callouts, and even Instagram and YouTube templates. And you can search by tags as well. For this tutorial, let's choose openers. Openers are simple introduction videos that you can use for your YouTube channel intro, a movie trailer, or a product reveal. At the time of this recording, they are currently offering 13 opener templates, but I'm pretty sure they will add some more in the future, so keep checking out the website from time to time. So let's look at some of the templates. You can preview the template by hovering your mouse over the thumbnail, like so. So Mixkit has a couple of amazing openers to choose from. For this demo, let's select Creative Modern Opener. And then we click the Download Free Template button right here. Now go to your Downloads folder and then extract the file. Inside the folder, you will see the assets used for the project, the Premiere Pro project file, and a sample preview. Let's now go to Premiere Pro and open the project file. If you are greeted with this window, just assign a new name to the project and click OK. If for some reason you encounter missing files, just click on Locate and go to the folder where you extracted your template. OK, so we've successfully opened the project. We can now start modifying this template to our preference. Let's preview the opener template once more. All right, looking good. Let's now go to the project panel here on the left and expand this folder. As you can see, it has three folders inside. Placeholders, final composition, and others. We don't need to touch the last two folders, we will only be working on the placeholder folder. So we expand the placeholder folder, and inside it has the image folder and text folder. What I usually do is replace the texts first, and then I add the images and video clips afterward. So let's start with scene one. It contains two sequences. We can open the sequence just by double-clicking them. Once it is open, we can start replacing the text by clicking on the text in the program panel, like so. We can then resize and reposition the text here in the effects controls panel. Once we're satisfied, we can now double-click on the second sequence right here and edit the text as well. Then we resize and reposition it. Let's now move on to scene number two. We just have to repeat the same process until we've gone over all the sequences in each scene. Again, just double-click the sequence, change the text, and resize and reposition accordingly. I will go ahead and fast-forward this step. And once we're done editing all the text, we render the video by going to Sequence and clicking Render Into Out. Alright, this looks perfect. We're now ready to add video clips to this template. So let's expand the image folder and go through each scene. And again, we double-click the sequence. Now we can add any photo or video to the timeline. But before we continue, let's go back to the Mixkit website and download a few stock footage. Let's search for dogs and download a couple of clips that we will use for the template. Alright, so we're back in Premiere Pro. Let's import the video clips we just downloaded from Mixkit. We double-click on the project panel and go to the location of our video clips. Highlight all of them and click Open. Let me just collapse some of these folders and create a new folder for our video clips. Then we drag these inside, like so. Note that I'm just doing this for organizational purposes. Now we can go back to our image placeholders and start adding the clips one by one. Let me just close these other sequences first. So now we double-click this sequence on scene 1 
and drag clip number one to the timeline. If the size of the video clip doesn't match the frame in the program monitor, right-click the clip, and then select, set to frame size. And then we just repeat the process until we've added all the clips for each scene. Feel free to choose whatever clip you want. You can adjust the in and out points, resize and reposition it, and also adjust the speed and duration. Let me go ahead and fast forward this step. And as for the last sequence, we need to add a logo. So let's go ahead and import one. Let's use a YouTube logo. Then we place it on the timeline, like so. We then drag the clip to the right to match its duration. We can delete the logo underneath and drag the YouTube logo down to the first video layer. And that's it. We're done placing all our clips into the image placeholders. The next step that we need to do is go back to our main sequence. Go to Sequence, and then select Render Into Out. Let's have a look at our video project. That looks awesome, don't you think? But wait, we're not done here. We still need to add music to our video. So I actually managed to download a nice background music from the MixKit website. So let's import it and place it on the timeline, like so. Then using the razor tool, I will crop the extra part of the music. Then delete this part right here. Then I will add a fade out effect by selecting the pen tool, then click two points somewhere at the end of the audio track, click the selection tool, and then pull the second point down to decrease the volume. Alright, let's go ahead and preview our video project. Wow! That looks really cool. Let's play it on full screen. That is amazing! We can now export our project by going to File, Export, Media, Click the output name right here, assign a name, and click the export button. And that is how to use Mixkit's Premiere Pro templates. It's as simple as importing your own media assets and adding them into the placeholders. It's very easy to do. This really saves you a huge amount of time in creating your video projects. You can use these templates as an inspiration or a starting point and then try to add your own twist to it. These video templates are really helpful for beginners, especially those who are just starting out in Premiere Pro. So go ahead and visit mixkit.co today and start making your video project. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more video editing tips and tricks, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you on my next video, thank you for watching.